Hello everyone, and welcome to Drake Makes. I was revisiting Gmod this week and ended up getting lost making little scenes with assets from Portal and Half-Life. And while I was doing this, I was like, this is fun. I should do this in Unreal Engine. So that's what we're doing today. Thanks to the channel His Animations on YouTube, as of one month ago, just about every prop from Portal 2 has been ported to Blender. Wow. I have his video linked in the description, which will demonstrate how to download and set up this prop pack. Be sure you're in at least Blender 3, or you'll not have access to an asset library, which is critical for this whole thing to work. But once you have this all downloaded, lo and behold is pretty much everything from Portal. This really feels like opening a toy box. So for my first test, I loaded up a turret model to try and export to Unreal Engine, originally intending to bake the textures into the FBX. Which is supposed to be simple, but it flat out didn't work, resulting in textureless turrets. This was no roadblock though. Using the UV editor, you can export the textures to set up as materials in Unreal Engine. So it's a little bit more work, but it ends up giving you more control in the end. So once I had the turret model and texture exported, I loaded up a test project in Unreal Engine 5 with Lumen and Ray Tracing enabled. All I did for the material is drag in the main texture, not doing anything with roughness and normal maps for now. And it worked! An Aperture Science turret in Unreal Engine 5. The only issue is the portal textures are actually pretty low resolution. Remember, Portal 2 came out in, like, 2008. Hold, hold on, let me Google that. Okay, never mind, 2011. But still, it, it's an 11-year-old game, so obviously the textures are going to leave a little bit to be desired. But it's the future, and we have artificial intelligence for upscaling resolution. If you want to see how I do this in more detail, check out my video on Stable Diffusion and EaserGAN. So I take the turret texture, upscale it with EaserGAN, and then make a new material out of these new high-quality textures, which ends up looking like this. I'm sure YouTube compression is going to make the details seem less drastic, but in Editor, the AI does a great job to bring these textures up to a modern quality. A lot of little cracks and details I would have never noticed before are now visible, but it doesn't feel like the AI is inventing detail either. I don't really know how this works, but it works, so carrying swiftly forward, let's import and upscale a bunch and make our own Aperture Science scene. I exported a cube to test the process one more time before going full bore. And already with just two assets got some pretty neat screenshots. I also hopped into Photoshop and isolated the red eye of the turrets, plugging this new texture into the emissive color. Now the turret's eyes actually glow. This works for any glowing bits on model. And now on to converting a bunch more assets. I ran the process a few more times with more cubes, some buttons, walls, etc. Anything that inspired me, I export and upscale textures. I'm trying to look for what are the critical elements to building a test chamber. Slowly but surely, I'm sure I'll convert most of this pack as I keep making portal renders. But right now, I think the scene we make today has about 15 to 16 finished models. Things are a bit tedious, exporting the FBX, then the associated textures, upscaling with the AI, and then re-importing into Unreal Engine, but I was having fun doing it. I was able to stay pretty organized. It would have been faster if I'd done all of the assets in one go, but I really couldn't help but see what I was working with intermittently, so I'd do the conversions in batches. But eventually, I had this little test scene laid out with a good selection of crucial assets to make my own portal scenes. Also, just a quick useful note, by adding in some surface imperfection roughness and normal maps to the existing glass material from the starter content, you can get some really nice looking bubbly glass. And with all of these props you see here, I then opened up a new level to make a test chamber of my own. Roll time lapse. Be sure to stick around till the end to see the final results. 
So first off, I did this hallway full of weighted storage cubes on shelves. I enabled Nanite for the cubes, so I was able to quickly copy and paste dozens of them without any frame rate loss. And then I add in my floor panels. Both black and white panels are utilizing the same model, so I'm able to quickly swap the material between portalable and non-portalable surface. Then I dropped a turret in the center as the focal point before adding in a bunch of walls. I can't help myself but place the mechanical arms behind most of the panels. While it's largely wasted geometry that gets hidden, it just looks too cool. I finish things off by placing a camera to focus on the turret, using the eyedropper to have it automatically focus. After sealing the scene off, the first little level here is completed. And now, on to an actual complete test chamber. So I set up my lighting with skylights, directional lights, and an atmospheric fog volume. Then I just started laying out a floor and trying to visualize a test chamber of my own. In the end, I go for looks over function for sure. I don't think the level would actually be that great in-game, but I don't know how to build a portal gun, so I don't gotta worry about it. Since I didn't make any scale adjustments in Blender, all of the pieces out of the box are about 8 times too large, so I have to adjust their scale down to 0 0.2. I don't know why, but snapping together these modular panels is just really satisfying. Here I add in this little window block to break up the scene a little bit. At the end of the day, the level is just a square, so you want to do as many things as you can to give it some visual interest. Like I mentioned earlier, most of these mechanical arms are pointless, but this is Aperture Science. We don't cut corners. Well, that's a corner-cutting machine. We obviously cut them there. to adding more testing elements, I throw down one of the big buttons. The official name for these is insane. Hold on, I gotta Google that again. Yeah, the buttons are called the 1500 Megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Huh. Super twice. <laughs> Now that I'm pretty sure of the shape of the chamber, I start selecting big groups of the walls and expanding it upward. Now for some ceiling panels to seal this whole thing off. I also forgot to mention these light fixtures are pretty simple. It's just an emissive texture like what I did for the turret's eyes, and then I place a point light in front of them. The point light's pretty strong because I want these scenes to be very well lit. Because of Unreal Engine's real-time lighting, if the lights weren't there once the scene was sealed off, this whole thing would go pitch black, and we can't have that. Now to 
punch a hole in the wall and fill it with a window. Another great source of light will be one of those observation rooms that you typically see in a portal test chamber. I've been staring at these games so long, I didn't actually need a lot of reference for this. Once I had the assets in place, it was pretty smooth sailing. Of course, when I go to do more Aperture Science inspired scenes, I'm going to want to bust out the reference so I can get the more obscure details. Now I add in some turrets to the scene. They're my favorite, I gotta add a couple. In Blender they come with their rig so you can close the arms, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Real quick, I toned down the lights just a bit. I want them to be strong, but it was a little too much. There are some areas of the test where I have the panels protruding a bit to expose the mechanical work behind them. So I go around sealing off those areas with more of the black panels. Once they've been sealed off, I place some really weak red point lights behind them to emulate some of the effects seen in the game. Something about the red glow from behind really adds to the scene. Alright, just a couple more roof blocks and finishing touches, and this scene is complete. Gotta add the radio. This scene uses at least one of each asset I downloaded, so I'd consider what I've converted so far as the bare minimum. It worked out great though, seeing a portal level in Unreal Engine is a dopamine machine for me. So without any more delay, here's my portal scenes in Unreal Engine 5. Enjoy! Prometheus was punished by the gods for giving the gift of knowledge to man. He was cast into the bowels of the earth and picked by birds. So there you have it, this was such a fun project. That is how you get portal props into Unreal Engine 5. If you're a big fan of portal, this is a lot of fun to do. I'll put the appropriate links in the description if you're interested in messing around with these assets. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to leave a like if you want to see more portal related content. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time with more creative content coming soon.